tell you what. Goodness gracious, somebody's got to fix that door. That's it, shut it tight, shut it tight. My goodness, well, we're safe in here, Charlie. You know, I guess I guess the audience, all they heard was uh, the, the traffic. Uh, they heard uh, the honking horns and... Uh, that big truck that was backing up almost squished you again. Uh, <laughs> uh, but, wow, uh, the crowd, the crowd is massive around here tonight. My goodness gracious. Uh, Charlie, I'm excited about tonight's show because we're putting all this, uh, what we what went down last week, we're putting it all together uh, and giving folks a taste of uh, some of the songs from each of our artists. So, uh we had a fantastic week. Right, what's the matter with you? You're what? You're <laughs> breath. <laughs> oh, Charlie. Oh, take a deep breath, buddy. Put your headphones on. Come on. Come on. Put your headphones on. We're gonna we're gonna launch this puppy. Are are you ready? Are you ready? All right, Charlie, let's count down. <clears throat> Five, four, three, two, one. Hit it, Charlie.
are listening to, I say you are listening to, you are absolutely listening to, The George Espen Love Show, coming to you live from the Funny Farm. Now with no further ado, here comes Georgie! Uh, here I is. Yep. <laughs> here I is. Here I is. Here I is. That, that's not good English, but here I is anyhow. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, friends, Romans, and countrymen, let me both your ears. You're listening to the George Espelob Show coming to you live from the Funny Farm in a place called Our World. And we want you to join us tonight. Uh, and I, I would caution you to take your socks off. So, the chat room is open. But let me remind you, uh, Gertrude Duflicky is at the door. And because we've combined all of last week into one show tonight, uh, take take your socks off or she'll, re- or she'll remove them for you. Uh, because when your socks get blowed up, your shoes fly, and people get hit in the head with it and other parts of their body. We don't want that. So just take your socks off. You, you can put your footwear back on. Uh, either jam them in your back pocket, or you can pick them up at the door when this thing is all over, if you're, uh, if you're still capable of. I do want to say this before I go any further. Uh, we will not be responsible for anything, any side effects, that might fall down upon you, either while you're listening to this show or afterwards. Sometimes uh, it takes longer to have an effect on certain people uh, than others. But we won't be responsible. Uh, But what we really want to do is make you smile, preferably make you laugh, and we want to make you just as goofy (laughs) as the rest of us is around here at the Funny Farm. Wow, Charlie, Charlie and I had one heck of a time getting in here tonight. <clears throat> the traffic, and then, you know, he's got four little short legs because he's a wiener dog, uh, but he talks. You hear him all the time. Uh, so I had to pick him up, and I, <laughs> he was squealing and hollering at me while I was carrying him across the, 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 the highway there, getting into the farm. Uh, I, I squeezed him. I didn't I didn't realize I squeezed him real tight. Uh, then he almost got uh, hit with that, uh, that trash truck that was backing up. Uh, but nonetheless, we made it <clears throat> in our squeaking door got us safely inside the sound room where we're at now. Uh, And so, whether you're down the street, around the corner, across America, or somewhere around the world, you're listening to the George Espinlove Show live. Reach out. Call people. Text them. uh, Facebook them. However you reach out and get a hold of people nowadays, uh, because we are going to have us a good, good show tonight. What we're going to do, ladies and gentlemen, or what we've done, is we've taken <clears throat> music from the artists that we featured and highlighted last week, and uh, we put a, a whole do flicky. Uh, some of you know what a do flicky is, some of you don't, but we put a whole do flicky together. Uh, and so we're going to be playing some of the music uh, of each of the people that was here last week and my oh my did we have a time and i don't think there is any better time than starting right about now with rick lally i can't breathe that's what charlie said Life has been a 
my ups and downs One day dancing in the stardust Next time laying on the ground Now I'm gone Yes, I'm gone That, ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> excuse me, was Mr. Rick Lally out of Kansas City, Kansas, who was with us on Friday night, and we have much, much more to come. I want to say that tonight's show is being sponsored by Unicorn Chasing with Maxine and Walter. Uh, you hear re- blip, 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 uh, that's not all. Uh, <laughs> you hear me talking about Maxine and Walter quite a bit. Uh, number one, I'm supposed to talk about them because they're sponsors of this radio show, amongst others. Uh, but it's sponsored tonight by Unicorn Chasin with Maxine and Walter. That's Unicorn Chasin, C H A S I N. Unicorn Chasin with Maxine and Walter. Uh, look them up on Facebook. Unicorn Chasin with Maxine and Walter. They do live shows uh, a couple, three times a week. Uh, sometimes more, just depends what kind of mood they're in, I guess. Uh, and they, they, they do this ring bomb thing. If you've never had a, went to a ring bomb party, look them up. Unicorn Chasing with Maxine and Walter. They're on Facebook. And Maxine has told me before I came into the radio studio tonight that to make sure to tell you that Maxine and Walter will be going live tonight somewhere around 930 or so. And tonight they have uh, a couple giveaways to give. Uh, so you can go to Unicorn Chasing with Maxine and Walter and read all about it. And I think I did that right. Of course, she usually lets me know because I hang out with Maxine and Walter. She'll let me know if I did, if I did it all right. I'm so tired of these blues. Oh, we never get tired of the blues. <laughs> Thank you. 
so tired of these blues And I'm so tired I'm so tired of these blues Been working too damn hard Jack boy, a work doesn't play. Well, Jack, that dull boy, we're the same in every way. Gotta find a life worth living. Gotta have me some fun today. Gonna find my own way. Gonna have So tired, tired of being let down. Yeah, I'm so tired, so tired of being let down. Don't you say you. Ladies and gentlemen, that was Melmo and the Middlemen. <clears throat> Excuse me. You can go to their website. It is melmo.live. Simple. Melo. Yeah, Mel. Mel. Yeah. Espen Law. What's wrong with you tonight? My goodness gracious. <clears throat> it's Melmo. M E L M O. Dot live. Melmo.live. Oh, my goodness gracious sakes alive, Aunt Sally. Boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. <laughs> Stop it. I, I can't help it sometimes. Y'all know how it is here at the Funny Farm. I mean, most of us are like that. Uh, hey, I want to I say this. The George Espinlob Show uh, is going to have to ramp it up a notch or two around here. 
uh, because uh, we usually, when we relaunched our show, we came back and we said we we're going to do Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And we have done that. And then uh, last week, we ran the uh, tap your foot, snap your fingers, bob your head, and shake your booty show Monday through Friday. Uh, and because we are accumulating, that's not the right word, because there are more guests uh, that that's coming all the time, we're going to have to ramp this puppy up. <clears throat> we're going to have to at least run uh, one extra show a week or possibly two, but we'll let you know. But I just wanted to let you know that we're going to have to ramp this thing up uh, because things are really moving around here. And She's My Sunny Day by Rick Lowley. Rick Lally out of Kansas City, Kansas. Uh, RickLally.com. That's Rick Lally, L-A-L-L-Y.com. You can go to these websites that I'm uh, mentioning for each of these groups, find their music, 
read their bios, get their schedules, and the whole nine yards. So uh, <clears throat> remember, it's ricklally.com. I need to make this announcement while I still can. Uh, the third annual Dancing Through the Decades benefit for the Delaware Burn Camp, hosted by the Laurel Fire Department Auxiliary, Laurel Fire Department Incorporated, located 205 Railroad Avenue in Laurel, Delaware. The music will be provided by DJ Brian Pettijohn. Saturday, uh, and if you're in our area, somewhere uh, around here, uh, mark this date down. Saturday, September 21st, 2019, 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. Uh, tickets are $10 per person. Children 6 to 12 years of age is $5. Children under 6 is free. There is a cash bar. Souvenir cup available for $5, and we'll include free beer and soda refills. Okay, you can't beat that with a stick. Ticket purchases include voucher for one dinner platter, additional food, drinks, and cupcakes available for purchase, featuring cupcakes by Three Little Birds Cupcakery. Wow, if I could say that. They're having a Chinese auction, tributes to the artist, and it's a casual attire. So that is September 21st in Laurel, Delaware, and it is for the benefit of the Delaware Burn Camp. And the Ladies Auxiliary has set that up, taken care of, and they're doing a fantastic, fantastic job uh, in doing this. So September 21st in Laurel, Delaware at 205 Railroad Street, mark it down, and if there's any way possible, please come because the benefit for the Delaware burn is so vital and they do this this is the third year they've done it and so let's get behind it for the delaware burn camp and i thank you very very much oh boy
Yes, I'm pulled for sure. That was Mr. Zach Day, Poe Boy. And you can find Zach's music at ZachDayMusic.net. That's Zach, Z A C H, ZachDayMusic.net. My, oh my, did we have a good time last week. Tomorrow night, we are going to have on our show at 8 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time a man by the name of Stan Williams. And I think that you will find it very, very interesting. Uh, I've known Stan. In fact, uh, I was going to say the biggest part of my life, but I've known Stan all my life. And he's going to be in the chair tomorrow night. And he is going to be sharing some very interesting things. So uh, please don't miss it. Pass the word. Tell everybody that Stan Williams will be with us tomorrow night. Uh, I almost... uh, almost feel scared in here tonight. They're just Charlie and I. Usually we have people uh, to talk to, to interview, but tonight we don't. We just decided we'd put this thing together and run with it. Uh, And then on Thursday night, we run a show out of Chicago, Illinois, entitled Unshackled. It is produced and directed by Pacific Garden Mission, who has been around since 1800 and somewhat. They have been in that type of ministry since the very inception of their ministry. And they produce a show entitled Unshackled, True Stories of Real People That Fell Through the Bottom their life just crumbled because of circumstances or things or other people, so on and so forth. Tragedies turned into victory. It's the oldest dramatization radio show in America. It's been around since 1950, and it's still going strong. It's heard around the world, and we are so privileged. We've been carrying it for years. We are so privileged that we can be a part of bringing this unshackled to men and women, boys and girls across America and around the world. It's produced in many, many, many languages. Uh, It's on daily. You can find it on many, many stations. But we've been carrying it for years. So Thursday night, and what, what we usually do, is we start the program, uh, we say a few words, and then we get out of the way. Uh, There's some good, good gospel music that's played, and then we go right into the Unshackled story. And we've even even had people uh, that was in the stories we've had. We've reached out and we brought people on the show uh, after the fact, and they uh, spoke with us in the audience. Uh, so then we, we go in, after the music, we go into the Unshackled, and you listen to the real-life drama, the real-life story, every Saturday afternoon at 3 p.m. in Chicago. They do the real-live dramatization show right there in their facilities. Uh, and if you're so fortunate to be in that area, you go in, you sit down, and you watch the whole uh, production the direction, all the sound effects, the whole nine yards. So we're going to run that show on Thursday night, Unshackled. So tell people about that. Friday night, we are going to have Mr. Raleigh Sadler back. 
Uh, for some of you that have <clears throat> been listening, you may remember we had Raleigh Sadler here out of New York City, and he fights human trafficking. You don't want to miss it. The last time we had him, uh, we were into the show, I don't know, 20 minutes or so, and we had some technical difficulties, and we had to pull it down. We had to shut it down. Uh, but he's been so gracious to come back. He will be back with us Friday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time right here on the George Espinlove Show, and he will be telling our audience about his ministry and what he does to fight human trafficking, and you will find it so very, very interesting. Just a trace of white where once this body lay. One more memory in the mud, not unlike Sherman's victim's blood. That strange Atlanta soil still today. Just like Sherman's toothpicks, bones are all that's left to me. Lion scorched beneath a fiery southern sky. Sherman's Toothpicks, Melmo and the Middlemen, Melmo.live. All right, here's what I want you to do, class. I want you to sit straight up in your desk, pull them shoulders back, and get ready for tonight's lesson. Thank you. 
Thank you for calling me in Japanese in 20 seconds a day. Are you, Are you ready? ready? Let's, Let's begin. begin. Hotel, Please to sign up for tomorrow's lesson, please leave your name and number after the beep. Sayonara. <laughs> all right. Now you can slouch again, all right? Well, really, nobody here is in their seats because we don't have no seats. I don't even know why I said that. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just goofy, I guess. I don't, I don't know. Oh, oh, my, oh, my, oh, my. Ryan, Chris, and the Rough Cuts. Ryan, 
Chris in the Rough Cuts. <laughs> Funky Fied. You can go to their website as soon as I find it. Rough Cuts Band. R O U G H C U T S. Roughcutsband.com. Ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> uh, we've just had a, uh, I don't know what to call it. Is it frightening? Is it scary? We're never sure. But Gertrude Duflicky has just entered into the Funny Farm Radio studio, and you never know. You you never know. Gertrude, <clears throat> what brings you here? I was looking for that no good Charlie. <laughs> I'm sorry, not Charlie. Harvey. That's the one. Come over here a second and tell me about it. Gertrude Duflicky, ladies and gentlemen, if you've never met her, uh, uh, what, what you're going to have to do is go to the espenblog.com. That's T-H-E-E-S-P-E-N-B-L-O-G, the espenblog.com. Uh, and there you can read about Gertrude Duflicky. But she is she is live and in person right here in the Funny Farm Radio Studios, like right now, and she is looking for... Who'd you say? Harvey. Harvey. No good Harvey. No good Harvey. And you'll if you go to the Espenblog.com, you'll read about Harvey too. And I'm telling you, he is always, always, always in trouble. All right. Gertrude, slip over here a little bit. <clears throat> uh what what in the world is it that you're so upset about with Harvey? Well, as you can see. I haven't even gotten my hair done today. I was in the shower, and for some ungodly reason, no water. No water. I look out after I didn't couldn't even rinse off, wrapped the bed sheet around me, looked out the window, and there's Harvey on a backhoe. Harvey on a backhoe. In my yard, no less. In your yard. I don't think he gets the boundaries between me and him. Well, Gertrude, uh, Harvey never has had many boundaries, oh. and that that's what gets him into so much trouble. So what he he drove a backhoe into your backyard. No, no, no. No? He broke the water line. The idiot that he is. <laughs> <laughs> but what I'm saying, Gertrude, and don't smack me because you're all worked up. You're just wanting to smack somebody. Uh, what he did was he, he drove a backhoe onto your property and <clears throat> started digging and he broke your water line. Is that right? Exactly. I have no clue what he was digging. Something about he was making a trench. So the water to drain off his property better. He was thinking about putting in a French drain. And all I know is I have no water and I've got a hole. You've got a hole, a broken pipe, and no water. And I can't find him now. <laughs> uh, so I'm taking it that when you do find him, there's a possibility that you're going to beat him severely about the head and shoulders. Indeed I am, Pops. <laughs> I mean, what would you do? Well, so we should notify Travis, who is the head of the EMS department here at the Bunny Farm, to be on the ready because it sounds to me like Harvey is going to need some medical attention when you find him. Oh, I'm going to roll him up one side of that ditch. And down the other. <laughs> All right, Gertrude. So you came into the radio studios looking for Harvey. Yeah. Uh, I know he hangs out here. He likes to dance with, what's her name? Miss Ernestine. Yeah, Miss Piggy, whatever. <laughs> <clears throat> well, ladies and gentlemen, Gertrude Duflicky, she is an inmate, I mean a a client here on the Funny Farm, she has her own property. Uh, 
and most of the time she's always fussing with the clientele around here for one thing or another. But it sounds to me like she has a real legitimate beef this time around. I I think so. <laughs> they're, they're laughing, uh, but don't get don't get mad, okay? Don't get mad. Oh, I'm beyond mad. All right, so we're gonna let you go, so you can hunt down, so you can hunt down Harvey. Well, if you by chance see him, you tell him he better run and hide because I'm looking. Are you going to give up if you can't find them? Oh, no, 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 no. Can't do that. All right. Good hunting. <laughs> See ya, Pops. All right. All right, Gertrude. See you later. Tattered and torn. Cass Clayton Band. You got a book to write.
Cash Clayton and the Cash Clayton Band. My, oh, my. We had a delightful time last week, uh, and there is much, much more to come. As we've said so many times on this show, we have guests from all walks of life, authors, musicians, singers, songwriters. Uh, We're going to have a lady on, I believe it's the 19th or 20th of this month, uh, who is known throughout Hollywood, and we'll make more announcements as the time approaches. Uh, But we've had people from all over the world, all walks of life, come on the George Espinlob Show, and we are delighted, and we feel so privileged to have people uh, that comes on the show and shares their stories, their music, uh, whatever is in their heart. We're so thrilled that they can come and present their message. I have a song that I'm going to play by a man who's been on the show not too long ago by the name of Cliff Stevens out of Canada. One of the best blues guitarists, uh, in my opinion, around. And ladies and gentlemen, we're going to have him back on, and Cliff and I communicate quite often. And I want you to listen to this. He wasn't with us last week, but I want to play this song. Nobody but you, Cliff Stevens.
ladies and gentlemen, that was Mr. Cliff Stevens out of Canada. He tours Europe uh, quite often. Uh, my fantastic, fantastic. Look him up. Cliff Stevens. Cliff Stevens. Ah, my oh my. Time flies by so fast. Uh, it just seems like we started. It seemed like so long since Friday night when we were on. Uh, then when you come on, it seems so quick. But I do want to mention, I was I was notified just a few moments ago by Maxine to tell the folks that's out there listening that we'll be listening uh, later on. Unicorn Chasing, Unicorn Chasing, C H A S I N, Unicorn Chasing with Walter and Maxine will be live around 9:30 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time on Facebook. If you've never been to a ring bomb party, look them up. Unicorn Chasing, that's C H A S I N, Unicorn Chasing with Maxine and Walter. Uh, they'll be delighted to have you, and I know that you'll probably be glad that you went so that's unicorn chasing with maxine and walter they're going live at 9 30 on facebook that's eastern daylight time tomorrow night stan williams will be with us thursday night unshackled friday night raleigh sadler the human trafficking fighter will be with us so you don't want to miss it we're gonna have to crank it up here a few notch a few notches so uh and we're willing to do that because it's exciting times here on the George Espinlob Show. Listen, I'm so glad that you tuned in tonight. Thank you, everyone, for the, uh, that's been in the chat room. Uh, we've had a, a good time. I hope you had a great weekend. It was a long weekend. And I want to say hello to all the friends out there and to everyone that has listened, that is listening, and that's going to listen <laughs> to the show. Remember, you can go in, listen to any show you want to, Download them free of charge. Don't cost you a nickel. Uh, just go to Spreaker.com and everything there is available for you. And we hope that you do. Uh, they're down. They're downloading them left and right. They're going like hotcakes. But anyhow, do that for us. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, friends, Romans, and countrymen, whether you're down the street, around the corner, across America, somewhere around this world, I want to say thank you for listening. If it's nighttime, have a good night. If it's already daytime, you have a fantastic day. But until tomorrow night, 8 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, this is George Espinlob and whole gang here on the Funny Farm saying God bless you. May he keep you right in the center of his hand, and we'll see you tomorrow night. Thank you.